All right, so I uh, got up this morning and wanted to take my kayak out. So I loaded it up in the truck, pulled it down this hill, this little spot, this little creek channel that connects right to the river. I've been wanting to get into this for a while. Finally did it. This little area looks really cool. It's nice and calm. And then the river is like right out there flowing through. Um, so there's been some white bass coming up in here. So I'm really hoping to target white bass, maybe get some chunky ones. Um, and if I don't, it's just a really cool area just to, I want to paddle down and see. I might come back, you know, and bass fish it or, or bluegill fish it or catfish it. I've caught catfish. I, there's a lot of fish that come through this little creek here. So it's going to be a pretty cool day. Fish on! Oh my goodness! I didn't think it was going to take this long at all. I've been uh, I've been trying to I changed up lures, but I started throwing around this white swim bait. I've had no less than ten hits from small fish. Finally laying one. It's a little white bass. Thought there'd be all kinds of them down there by the river. Didn't get anything down there. I'm gonna go up the creek now. There we go. A little bit better. All right. Okay. Maybe they're up the creek instead of down at the mouth of the creek where I thought the, they'd be. Still, still on the smaller side, but even these little guys really put up a fight. Okay. Two in 30 seconds, none in the first 45 minutes. Go. Man, starting to get on some little ones. Hope the big ones are still around. But just catching a bunch of these little ones is, is a blast. All right, number three. white swim bait I really at first I wouldn't have thought to use it I thought it'd be too big but they, they get they can get a lot in their mouth even these little guys can hit this thing easy oh yeah it's a good one good one yes yeah yeah that's a chunky one there all right, let's just get a quick white uh, measurement on him, just see what size we're talking about. It's not even a giant compared to how big they get, but he's uh, just over 13 inches long. So a 13 inch one, that's a, that's a chunky guy. Yeah. Not huge, but it feels pretty good. Oh, uh, kind of small, but hit like a freight train zero the first like almost hour five or six next 15 or 20 minutes man this little nico uh swim bait is killing him that's the smallest one yet but he had no trouble getting in his mouth further I get upstream, the more hits I'm getting. I thought it'd be total opposite. Shows you what I know. Yeah. 
It's almost at the kayak. Oh, come here. I got this uh, swim bait on a. Oh, I get out of there. I love how tough these things are. This Nico stuff, I use the Helger brand a lot, but this swim bait is becoming probably my favorite kayaking lure now, just for because it's so easy to use. Because I just cast and retrieve. You're floating and drifting. You don't have time. You don't have to pause and use it. You just just reel it in. Um, I got it on a 1 16th ounce jig head. I could probably go heavier, and I might do that to try to sink it down a little bit later on, but right now I'm starting to catch a bunch of them. Um, eight pound mono liter, 15 pound braid on this medium setup. You know, it's doing pretty good. Starting to go up this creek. I've always wanted to kayak up it. I don't think you can go very far and it got, starts getting shallow, but um, I'm interested to see how far up I can go and keep on catching these guys. Get up there. Oh yeah. Right off that rock. Come here. He had no trouble swallowing that thing. A lot of them are just, I'm getting a lot of hits where they're just biting that tail and jerking it down, but luckily they've cut the tail, but they haven't tore it off yet. Well, is this as far as I can go? Man, if I could just get over this log, I could continue going up that way, but I really don't want to get wet. I think we can get over this. I think I can get on this log and then pull my kayak over and continue going upstream because it looks like I can still go a ways. I just don't want to like fall in or lose everything or get wet. This is a big log. Oh, it's pretty deep right here. I better be able to go a ways once I get across this. Oh, get, get over there. Take that log. Oh, it was a little one. I feel like they're starting to get smaller on average. There was like one section I went through back there where I caught like the biggest ones. But I, I mean, the big ones can run upstream too, I'm sure. There's one. It's been a little while since I've had a had one as I'm coming up here. There's another log up there. I don't know if I'll be able to get across that one. But this is the longest it's been since I started catching them back there. Yep. All right. Well, the creek's starting to look more like a creek. Um, I don't really want to cross into the log right now could if I wanted to, but it's really been slowing down my bites. I'm gonna head back down now. Didn't catch as many fish as I thought I would up here, but it was definitely worth coming up here and exploring. I'd like to come back here in the summer and try bass fish it. I'm surprised I haven't caught a largemouth or spotted bass out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the same lure. I just took it off the other jig head, put it on this one, which is a 1 8 ounce. A little bit heavier weight, sink a little lower. I'm gonna go back through the same area, just, you know, kind of probably a little bit quicker. I gotta cross that, uh, log again. I'm not excited about that, but we'll see if we pick up a few more. 
All right, that's where they're at. Man, these guys fight. Fight, man, I love catching these. Man, I, I've been, like, if I could fish these all year, I probably would. These are some of the most fun fish I never really even knew about, really. Never caught them till last year. Well, not that I know of anyways. And then this year I kind of knew when to go for them a little bit more and talk to some people about them. And they are a blast. Oh, back to the crossing. Yeah. Yeah. Solid one. It's pretty strong. All right, I'm about to get back in the zone where I caught a couple of good ones, and the biggest one was that 13 inch one. I need like a 15 inch one, or you know, I'd be awesome to get a two pound one. Mm, it's all right. Nope, little. All right, I'm almost back down to the river. I'm gonna get right back down where I was intending, to, where I thought the big ones were gonna be. Gonna give one last try for a get on out of here. Okay, might be a good one. This guy's staying down. Oh, I can't really tell. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good. This is the ones I wanted to catch. Man, these guys. Beasts. That's a good chunky right there. Oh, I'm getting under the tree. Ah. All right, right at the same size. That's probably a pound fish 13 inches just over 13 when you hook into one of these you know you got a fish uh, pretty good whenever you get one of these you just oh you just don't, don't know what you have they just put up such a fight this might be a little bigger yeah, that's my biggest one today. They just take it all over the place. That's nice. Oh, he was barely in there, but you, you cannot like ultralight fish these things. They just, they're so strong. What? Well, this one is just a little short from the last one, but he's heavier, or she, maybe. So, that's a, that's a third one. It's, let me weigh it, just so we know what we're dealing with. Yeah, 1.2 pounds. So, yeah, if they're, if they're around a pound, you, you think you got a nice small mouth or something like that. They really put up a fight. That's a good one. Oh, yes. All right, here at the end, just caught this one. This is a really good one. Right at the mouth of the creek. At the mouth of the, at the edge of the river here. Woo! 15 and a half inches long. All right, this is uh, this is right at the same size as the biggest one I've caught, 1.6 pounds, 15 and a half inches long. I kind of want to take him home to eat him, but I don't want to take him if it's a female. 
with eggs and stuff, so I'll put it back. I think this is where they're at, right here. Cool spot. I couldn't catch nothing here earlier. Use the same lures, use all kinds of stuff. Way out there. All right, maybe my last one. I gotta get this kayak up out of here. Go get something to eat. And uh, man, the, I haven't once I after the first 45 minutes, I haven't stopped catching fish or start stopped getting hits. But uh, especially from these sides, there's just so many this size on there. It's it's awesome, but crazy at the same time. White rooster tail. If I was using that guy, I probably would have caught probably another third or twice as many fish. There were so many little ones hitting at my lure, but I, I really like that I stuck with the swim bait. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what is this? I was trying to lay, oh, it's a large mouth. First one. Good bass too. Okay. I thought I would have caught another one, but wow, that's a good bass. There's a spot, can't tell. Good bass. Nice, large mouth. I was, uh, was going to talk about this little swim bait at the end, and, uh, and I'll address it a little more, but it thing, it thing catches a lot of fish. Nice, large mouth. My other camera battery's dead, so can't get it from there. I'm going to have to come back here and do this in the summer when the large mouth are more predominant and active in here. Just over 16 inches. Uh, he's two pounds even. That's a that's a nice, healthy chickamauga bass right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here when it's warmer and try and target them. Well, what a trip this turned out to be. Uh, I was only playing on dinner like a couple hours. I ended up staying about three and a half hours. Went down the creek to the river, went all the way up, crossed over that log, came back, went all the way back down, and then fished back up to like the middle to where I'm taking out at. Like I said, the first 45 minutes, didn't get a fish, tried several things. I switched to that swim bait because I knew it worked, and I was like, well, let me just stick with this. And I started getting hits, started catching fish, started catching all kinds of fish. But as many fish as I caught, which was probably 25 or 30, really, um, I had that many that hit the lure and just bit the end and jerked on it and that lure never fell apart that lure lasted the whole time i love the nico products i don't say that for any re other reason other than they work great and I, everyone i've had has been awesome and they just hold up they endure they catch fish i love that little swim bait there's a ton of swim bait out there that you can use and will catch fish but i love that little one just how durable it is and just the versatility i've caught a lot of different fish off of it and it's definitely gonna be one i uh, use in the creeks and uh, definitely when I'm kayaking, I love using it for kayaking. Thanks so much for watching. I love exploring a new area. That was really fun. Um, I'm gonna try and get back here. It's a little work getting the kayak up and down from the hill, but I'll have to get back here uh, again, maybe a couple times in the summer. I decided to keep um, a f several of those little white bass I'm gonna use for catfish bait. I caught a catfish the other day on one and I'm gonna freeze them and just hold on to them because whenever they move on out, you know, I won't be able to, probably won't be able to catch them again, but I'll have some saved up to use for catfish and stuff.